Hello crafty friends, this is card number 46 in my full deck challenge. I'm going to start by adding a layer of Mod Podge with my paintbrush and then putting a piece of tissue paper over. This is a tissue paper from an old dress pattern. I then also apply a layer of Mod Podge on top of the tissue paper. If you don't have Mod Podge you can use craft glue or gel medium and also if you don't have a dress pattern you can use any kind of tissue paper just something thin that allows the face of the card to shine through. Once everything has dried well just trim the excess tissue paper. I then go and check the corners. I find that the corners don't always stick 100% so I just go with another layer of Mod Podge to secure the corners. I'm now going to emboss the entire card. I place it in my embossing folder. This is one that I found on eBay and it's like a hand script. I really, really like it. And I'm just going to pass it through my Big Shots and you will see it has a beautiful effect when it comes out and I'm really happy with that. I really love the texture it creates and I think it makes a really great base for the card. I'm using some Distress Ink. This one is Vintage Photo. This is a Tim Holtz product. And I'm applying some of it, not all the way around, some of the sides and then a little bit over where the embossing is. And you can see that the color picks up on the lifted areas a little bit more and it gives it some great dimension. To add contrast, I'm adding a little bit of gesso just in certain areas. This contrasts against the brown vintage photo ink that I have used so that the card isn't flat and it has depth and also it's not really a Shinoki art project if I don't include gesso, one of my favorite products. It's not too late to join in the full deck challenge. It's a great way to work outside your comfort zone and try new techniques. If you're on Facebook you can find my group there, just search full deck challenge group. Once the gesso is dry, I'm going to add a little bit of the metallic wax in Antique Gold. This is a product from Little Birdie Crafts. I will put the link in the description below. This will just add a little bit of luster to the overall look. I don't want to over embellish this card. I think the background is really, really beautiful and I want that to stand out. So I'm going to keep the decorating or embellishing quite simple. I'm going to fussy cut these black and white butterflies and then work on the placement. These butterflies are from a Kayser Craft 6 inch by 6 inch paper pad. I'm thinking the top butterfly is a little too big. I want all three butterflies a similar size. So I'm just cutting out another smaller one. And I think that's a bit more balanced. I'll save the larger butterfly for another project. I tried a few different elements to try and center or ground the butterflies. I tried this to die cut frame. Um, I wasn't quite 100% happy with it and I think I just decided to go back to what I know which is the black thread that I normally use behind some of my embellishments. I think it's a great way for it to ground a focal point and not lose too much of the background when you're trying to show the background. And then I also decided to take the butterflies off center and put them down the left at different angles. I think it softened the overall look and then I just looked for a sentiment, a very simple one. I didn't want the sentiment to be too bold. So I have these transparent little stickers with different sentiments. I just used one of those so it's very very subtle. Once I'm happy with the placement I'm going to stick everything down using a hot glue gun. This is my preferred method of gluing things down but you can also use craft glue. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and were inspired to create your own card. I will just pull the card up closer to the camera now in real time so you can see the beautiful texture of the background. Difficult to get the full effect on a video but it really is actually one of my favorites and I'll be using this technique again. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.